A gate plugin can be tedious and complicated to dial in. It works great on one audio track, but failing on another because of that bloody loud bleed, and you end up manually editing all your tracks because you cannot get it right. Sonable, the sponsor of this video, has released SmartGate, which might well be the answer to all of your gating problems. Hi, I'm Marlon of White Noise Studio. The big selling point of this gate plugin is the AI powered content awareness ability. That means that this plugin is listening to your audio and will apply its gating based on your chosen instrument profile. Let me explain. This is a spectral image of a hi hat. You see a lot of energy in the higher frequencies with some sustain. Here is where the rest of the drums start, and the low end bleed of snare and kick is easily visible. Smartgate will ignore this higher level, lower frequency content and focuses only on the profile of the hi hat for its gating. And here's the spectral image of a snare drum. You can see its short attack and the resonances on the lower mids. Later, you see all the noise of the cymbals bleeding in, but you still recognize the snare drum for the most part. The plugin takes these profiles, and I wouldn't be surprised if these were actual spectral images, and uses that to apply its gating regardless if a louder signal comes in from a different source that doesn't match the selected profile. I can demonstrate that with the next overheads to gate hi-hats. Smart gate is used on the group overheads bus, so a stereo signal. These are the original overheads. You could hear that especially snare is louder than the hi-hats. Let me choose the hi-hat profile for that. Let me turn up the threshold. Here's the original again. How the audio is detected changes a bit if you choose mid or side. For instance, when I switch the plugin to size detection, you hear that the direct attack of the hi-hats get chewed off a bit. With mid, you get a much sharper attack. Now you will hear a kick and snare, but those are on the same hits as a hi-hat stroke. This plugin doesn't do unmixing, so you get the full audio spectrum when the gate opens. Here's a quick shootout with FabFilter Pro G. You can hear that Pro G doesn't grab one snare that isn't on a hi-hat beat, because the volume is above the threshold. And now let's stress test Smart Gate. We're going to try to isolate the hi-hat bleed of this snare track. I am impressed. Yes, it's not perfect, but it does isolate a lot of the hi-hat with a few cut-off snare hits left over. Any kicks which are in between the hi-hat hits are gone. This content awareness profiling has a big advantage when setting the threshold for gating. Here I have volume ramped a snare drum. If I use FabFilters Pro G, I can set the threshold to gate properly at the louder hits. Wow. 
which then mutes every snare hit which is too soft. Or I can optimize the threshold to open up at lower values. But then it will also pass all noise when the volume gets higher. Now with SmartGate, this limitation is gone. Regardless of level, I can set the threshold and tolerance to get the best gated sound. Another example with the next toms. Here's that nasty harsh sounding cymbal bleed you get when recording with Sennheiser MD421s. With Pro-G, even with its frequency adjustable sidechain, I cannot get this gate to sound right. Either too much cymbal bleed or the lower tom gets butchered. Here's smart gate. It's pretty much perfect, the gate kicks in before the cymbal bleed. Most of that is due to the level bias control, which you use to dial in how much of the profile versus audio gets used. You can also see this change nicely in the display. Now, normally I wouldn't quickly use a gate on a drums bus, but rather on individual tracks, but it does show the power of smart gate. With these toms, like this, you have a very short sustain. That might not be what you want, and in smart gate, you can adjust the release over three bands, effectively creating a debleeder. Lowering the band will increase the release, and turning it up will shorten it. If you, for some reason, still want some cymbal bleed back in your audio track, simply change the impact dial to bring back some of the gated audio. The profiling nature of the plugin, I think, is the reason for a delay in the plugin of 3584 samples, which is 74.7 milliseconds at 48 kilohertz. The CPU usage is so low that it didn't even register on my Cubase performance meter. As far as further controls go for smart gate, you get the attack, release, and hold settings you expect in a top tier gate plugin, a toggle to hear the difference in audio. There's external side chaining, and the plugin can work in both gating and ducking modes, which even opens up creative possibilities like having a fake hyper compressed sound. 
I do like SmartGate a lot. It's the best gate plugin in my collection right now. There will inevitably be the Gate X by Company Z is much better comments. Let me know which gate plugin you prefer and I happily look into a shootout video. Sonable has smart plugins which make your life easier. One of them is displayed on the screen and linked in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.